Hello, this is David E. Hilscher. I'm a critical thinker, science dissident, and I'm here to tell you the truth about science. Something your university professor won't tell you, the mass media won't tell you, and certainly those science evangelists won't tell you. I was not inspired today, so what do I think? I, oh, what I'm going to do, I go open up the science news on Google, and right at the top, it's just plenty of stuff to talk about, and that is the wonderful Large Hadron Collider and finding another particle in their invented unicorn particle zoo. As Dr. Unsiger says very concisely, that it, they are packages with arbitrary attributes. So they've found another package with arbitrary, arbitrary attributes. But I want to talk to you a couple of, about a couple of things that certainly don't make sense. There's a lot of particle things in particle physics that they do that have assumptions. I'll give you one of them. One of my favorites is the only way you can see smaller particles is to smash them with a bigger hammer. Now, we know very well that the physical world doesn't always work that way. We can think it works that way. And... They assume it works that way, but they never talk about that. Particle physics, I'm going to say this a number of times until you get it. Particle physics is basically uh, a big hammer firing a cannonball at a car that you can't see. And the only thing you can see are the trails of things coming off of it. And you're, you're saying that I'm going to hit it a gajillion times. And when I see this trail in this way... I have found the particle I'm looking for. Of course, they're postulating particles before they even find them. Whatever happens in science to let the universe tell you what it is about? They don't do that in particle physics. They have to line up those particles so I can get my Nobel Prize. Mm-hmm. Be famous. <laughs> but they don't understand. They are on the Flat Earth Society. Take a look at my my uh, you, my YouTube channel. I have even one thing, uh, one video there that talks about how particle physics is today's flat Earth society. Yes, it is indeed, folks. But let's take a look at this article today, which says the large, whoops, whoops, sorry, the large hadron collider experiment is is charmed to announce the observation of a new particle with two heavy quarks. Of course, look at the sentence, charmed. Uh, that's one of the name of the quarks. And um, this one is made up. It says, the existence of this particle from the baryon par uh, family was expected by current theories. The existence of this particle from baryon families was expected by current theories. They, their inventions predict that this should be found. They're, they're, the, the, the way they make this, they got a lot of particles they can find. So they got lots of PhDs and lots of chances for those Nobel Prizes so they can go home and pretend to be witty. Ho, 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 I'm so smart. But physicists have been looking for, for such baryons with two heavy quarks for many years. Of course, it's containing two charm quarks and one up quark. Folks, it's I'm a linguist, as you know, I keep saying that. Look at the words that they're using. Charm and up. Just think about it. Just use your common sense. What does that mean? It basically means, as Alexander Unsiger, the great person out there fighting to show particle physics is a unicorn world says these are arbitrary packages, meaning you put together these attributes. Now let's look at the, and, and basically when you name it charm and up and down, you're really having a problem. Let's think of something else about quarks in general. We had everything made of earth, wind, uh, earth, wind fire, and dirt. Or, no, earth and dirt are the same. Fire, water, wind, that's what we had. Then we discovered, oh, there are atoms. And we thought there were the numbers of them. And there were lots of them, over 100 of them, commonly about 80. And then we found that the atoms themselves were made up of protons, neutrons, and electrons. So we went from a, a, a couple of things, four things, 
to about 100 things. Oh, now it's simplified. Everything's made out of that. And then they said, well, everything should be made out of quarks. Problem is, is it didn't get simpler. It got more complicated. It didn't work. They tried nine. They tried six. They went back to up and down and around and changing the, and they couldn't find one because they had to look for this Mickey Mouse ear instead of that Mickey Mouse ear when they're smashing those particles together and they got to find that path and they go, this is the one. Of course, who's there to check it? Do we have people in the government who can check their math and their paths and their theory? Oh my gosh, of course not. So this is all a unicorn world. But it's very strange that you have neutrons, protons, and electrons, and then you go to six quarks. Um, why? And they call them quarks. So the idea is, oh, everything's made out of quarks. Well, yeah, but they're so different. Are they really in the same family? It doesn't matter because they're made up. They're invented. They didn't, they didn't find them and then name them. Particles up to up till the, the subatomic particles were found. They weren't postulated. Proton, electron, neutron. And now let's take a look at this picture. This picture, this is another pet peeve of mine. Make pretty graphics. Yes, I'm an artist. I can make pretty pictures. Is this the physical lookout? No, this is not. This is, a phys this is an interpretation. What's all that other stuff around it? What are they pointing to? Why are those in the convict? They have no idea. There's no physicality whatsoever. So they're going to find this, and it's, it's all a system. And it's an arbitrary system. And its chances of being right are really, really, really small. And as many of us know, particle physics is going to be thrown out eventually when a better model comes along. And they'll be, they'll be going to the grave saying everybody's wrong. Why? Because they want to sit on the first class, in the first class session section of the Titanic, sipping their their expensive wines and champagne going, ho, 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 you people in steerage with your new uh, models that work and those uh, new technologies that work. We will just laugh at you because the world is made out of strings and all the quirks and, and the Big Bang and plate tectonics, uh, fixed radius of the earth and, and on and on and on and on. And relativity, of course, can't forget that magical, wonderful world. But when you watch these particle physicists talking, look at the pictures, think to yourself, there is no physicality there. There is, that isn't a picture of this particle. This is a picture of somebody's thesis, is somebody's hope to get a Nobel Prize. That's what this is. I mean, it's going to go on and on and on. They're going to find another one. There are assumptions of the way the universe works where you have to smash it with harder and harder and then you're going to just find the layers. That's the way it works. That's not, that's not a given. Arbitrary things where they have no physicality. Is it, a, is it a sphere? Is it a toroid? Is it a cube? No, it is invention. This is Harry Potter. This is unicorns. If you get the gut feeling of most engineers on this planet, they're going to say the same thing. This is a bunch of hooey balooey. Again, why does it keep going? Because China and Europe and the United States are afraid to find that amazing particle. They found the God particle, but you know, maybe the billion dollars didn't really pay off. Well, it's paying a lot of people to be employed. But anyways, here I didn't have anything to talk about today. And of course, Along comes a gift from science. And of course, they have to be, be, be cute, charmed to announce, of course, made out of charmed particles. Nearly all matter, it says right here, nearly all matter we see around is made of baryons, which are, the, are common particles composed of three quarks, the best known being protons and neutrons. But there are six types of existing quarks, and theoretically, many 
many different potential combinations. Ooh, money, I see more money, I see more prestige, I see more power at my university so I can get my tenure and sit around and talk gibberish. Don't believe me? Go, go look at uh, uh, the Machian channel by the, my great hero of out there dissident scientists fighting, Mr. Alexander Unsker, and he will show you gibberish incarnate. Anyways, I can keep going on and on and on and on and on, and I'm sure I'm going to talk about this again. I'm going to talk about some of these things over and over till you get it. Why? Because you shouldn't take anything anyone says on faith. You should stay critical. You should stay thinking. And I'm David D. Hilster, your science therapist, trying to heal you. And we need lots, lots, lots more sessions. Ciao for now.